Hey, Kings of Dragons, Dragon King 551. And on the week of upcoming Halloween, we always get that scary game. Michigan breakdown video for this week eight. The Little Brown, I'm sorry, I was about to say Little Brown Jug. The Paul Bunyan Trophy and the Little Brown Jug so far have stayed in Michigan. One more trophy um, game inside the conference. I don't. Unfortunately, we won't be able to defend our Big Ten Championship trophy. But regardless of that, um, basically teams beating us and knocking us out. I guess you could say you beat the Big Ten um, defending champs. But is it possible that they still get in and run uh, run a decent table? Yes. Um, is there some stuff that needs to be cleaned up for other teams as well? Yeah. Um, first off, Army Army stays seven and zero. Navy goes down and stuff. There's all these teams switching between who's going to be in the twelve team playoff. Ohio State looks shaky against Nebraska, but Nebraska is a game is a team that looks actually really good this year. It was a trap game, twenty one seventeen. The final score in that game. Michigan looking like. Um, a well-oiled machine tonight for the most part in their highlights and everything. Uh, some fighting going on at the end of the whistle and everything. But, you know, Michigan looked pretty good. And they um, they allowed Michigan State, their little brother, they um, they beat little brother's ass and said, no, 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 not, to, not tonight. Um, and, you know, the first time in 70 years Michigan wins a game with a new coach against um, Michigan State. Uh, you know, I'm not too worried yet. Penn State looks shaky, too, against Wisconsin. I mean, they had a backup quarterback come in. They barely won that game. They somehow turned it around and made it 28-13. So there are definitely some controversy and stuff here. Indiana still takes t care of business. Oregon, as the number one team, looks great and stuff. Um, and ultimately, you know, you got to look, you got to be aware of these teams and stuff because they're just like going there. Uh, Notre Dame looks like they want to bounce back. They scored 51 points on, uh, you know, on Navy there. And, you know, there are teams that want to bounce back right now. They look really good and stuff and other teams that look really shaky. So be on the lookout for that in the Big Ten and be on the lookout for the SEC because there could be a three way tie for the Big Ten with Penn State, um, Indiana and Ohio State. Um, you know, with Indiana's quarterback potentially coming back next week against a big game against Ohio State, um, it's going to be an interesting situation and stuff. And if Ohio State gets a second loss, they're out. And with that playing into a factor, if they get a third loss, they're out. And, you know, I mean, if they lose to Penn State and Indiana, now Penn State, Indiana, and Oregon will have a, have a three-way tie for the Big Ten and stuff. Who are you going to put? Anyway... Let's get into the stats. Let's get into the highlight. Let's talk about this shit. You know, I mean, let's first let's first go in uh here to the stat line. Overview. Davis Davis Warren came back to start the game and 13 for 19, 123 yards, 1 TD. You know, the uh Michigan State's quarterback 189 yards of 1 TD. Alex Orgy got a rushing TD. Colston Loveland got 2 TDs. So, you know, a lot of a lot of stuff was going on in this game. Uh let's look at player stats again here. I'm going to look at Don Edwards through a touchdown so you can see that that's hopefully going to be in the highlights. Um you know, not very good rushing for him or any good rushing for them uh tonight. They had more rushing yards than us, and we dominated through the, uh, you know, they had more passing yards as well. I was going to say we dominated through the air more. Uh, so they had 352 yards, but that never tells the full story with first down, 17 and 18. Third down efficiency, um, total plays, punts, uh, penalties, and time of possession. 37 minutes versus our 22, so we scored more and then we were faster on the thing. But like I've said before, stats never tell a great line or a great story because the score is what's telling the story right now, 24 to 17. It's like that Michigan and Ohio State game in 2022 where they went into halftime down and it just didn't look like a great, great, you know, game and stuff because uh, teams were, uh, you know, um, you know, it, it was just the way that they played and stuff, the stats never told a full story and everything else. With that being said, let's get into it. Second and seven for Michigan State here. Little brother throws and a nice, I don't know, a nice screen, wide receiver screen. He goes down the field and it is a big gain. Oh my goodness. That's just a beautiful play there. Tucks it, looks left, fires a screen, got a convoy down there. Excuse me, I'm going to block here. And I'm just going to go down the field and go pick up as much yardage as possible. 
Second and eight at the 30. He runs. He's got a hole, and that is number five once again. Number five, they hand it off to him. He's got another hole. He runs right through it on third and two. Oh, man. Big holes for um, Michigan State right now. And around play. Jet sweep type thing, and that did not really work too well. Uh, not a very good play there. Oh, my God. A pitch play here, and no. Not going to happen, number 15. Gives it off to number five. No, he rolls out. He's got time. He fires, and it's incomplete. Third and goal. No, sir. Take your... Th oh, they'll go for it. All right, I thought they went for three here. No, oh, oh, oh dead, dead, dead. Flag. Flag. Delay of game, I think. Delay of game. This is delay of game, guys. Uh, delay of game. So, um, yeah, that's a five-yard penalty. They'll take a field goal. It's up. And it's no good. I couldn't even see where it went on there. That was a no good play, though. No good. No good. Let's go. Michigan's hyped under the night. Um, under the night. Night game, I like it. Sometimes I like the 12 o'clock games. I don't like it, though, for Ohio State and Penn State. I wish that was a 730 type game. Here we go. Back to throw. He's in trouble. He scrambles. He fires, and it's caught. Wow, what a play there. Trying to rip the ball out. Just get the guy on the ground. Stop trying to go for the ball. I think this is just a repeat of that highlight. Yeah, rolls out, fires, and is just able to get it. Get to show a couple of angles there. And, man, what a grab. Get off, get up off the field like that, off the turf. That's a great grab. I can't. Uh, game recognizes game. That's a beautiful grab there. Look out, another big hole, and he's through it. He is gone. Good night. No, he's not. He's short. All right, so Michigan guys tackled him. Not happy about that. Not happy about that. You know, we're playing a lot of close games, but that's what Michigan did last year in some of their games. They played close against, um, you know, Iowa shut them out 26 nothing, but, you know, Ohio State 30-24, to and then the uh, Alabama game. And now he runs and goes forward with 27-20 to in that Alabama game. Here we go, an end around. No, it's a double fake. He looks, he fires, and I don't know. And that was a terrible. Come on, Makari Page. Hold it together. Goes, and I don't know. Does he look short? He may be short. I can't tell where the ball is. That may be a first down. I can't see where it is. Um, I think they'll give it to them. I think that's a first down. I don't like that it's first, but I, I think it is. Um... He can't see where the ball is. He's definitely over the line or something where the ball advanced. That's a terrible angle where you have it right here right now. You can't even see where it advances. I, I, would, I would give it to that. No, it's fourth and one. Only on, and now he goes through, and I think he got a touchdown out of that. So they didn't give it to him, which is kind of surprising, but they got it on fourth and one. And that was their um touchdown, and then there were a field goal and then another touchdown late in the game. I think we also got a we got a field goal or something. I don't even remember what happened. Um Yeah, that's a touchdown. Unless his elbow's short, but regardless, that's a touchdown. Um because the next play will be a touchdown. It, it doesn't even matter. It's gonna be a touchdown next play. Uh well they gave it to him. Third and five. Warren in trouble. He rolls out. He's looking. He's not JJ McCarthy, but somehow still gets it and um forward progress. That's a first down. Davis Warren back to throw again. He looks, he fires, and I don't know who that is. That backup tight end, number 81, and picks up another first down. Man, one minute and 41 seconds, man. I mean, that's crazy. Oh, he spins, and he gets there. Um, Is that O'Landry or something? Uh, O'Larry, O'Larry, I think his name is O'Larry. Gives it off to Donovan Edwards. Donovan Edwards cuts the hole. He got a lane. He's got a big hole. Beautiful. I like that. Yeah, just, I don't know what they were pointing at, but that was just beautiful outside contain. There, you know, ghosts flying into two bodies and blocks both of them. Nicely done, man. Second and nine. Gives it off to Donovan Edwards. No, fakes it. Goes to, who's that? Loveland. Touchdown. Touchdown, Michigan. And then we miss an extra point. Trying to tie the game up, and... Oh, trouble with the snap this time. I mean, and... Just an, in an interception thrown into the end zone. Wonderful. 
There we go. And they, they got them all here. They, they're looking for a ball. They're looking for a ball. Stewart coming. And it's a strip. Pick it up, Grant, and dive on it. Yeah, with 12 seconds left. Beautiful. Defense wins championships, and that turns into offense. Three. Three. We want that three. Strip the ball. Yeah, man. Strip the ball. I like it. How's that taste, little brother? How's that taste? Oh, man. Strip the ball, baby. Strip the fucking ball. 13 seconds left. Warren back to throw. Fires off to Donnie Edwards. Donnie Edwards has got a lane. Donnie gets out of bounds at the 20. Oh, my. I mean, I thought he lost the ball. And Donovan Edwards getting pissed off. 37-yard meal goal. Let's see if they can hold on to this one. It's up. And it's good. Going into halftime, 9-7. to seven. I like it. Great defense there. Alex Orgy into the game. Alex Orgy runs in. He shoves one of his offensive linemen. He runs left. He runs right. He's up the sideline. He's going down the sideline. And more. Yeah, man. Dragging some bodies. How about that? Orgy's a fast cat. He knows what's up. Oh, man. Just beautiful blocking there. And we got a fucking ad. Wonderful. I love ads, guys. Um, So we'll just stop share for a second here. I don't want to, you know, get um get you guys into that um mumbo jumbo and um ad stuff. All right, we're back. I don't know what happened there. Um, You know, some stupid ass shit. But, uh, you know, run, 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 orgy, run. Yes, man, run. And he gets he gets shoved out of bounds. But, hey, it, it is whatever. Warren's got the ball back. It's a flea flicker. Anybody home? Uh, is that a catch? Did Morris catch that? Uh, I think that's a catch. Yeah, I mean, that's a catch. Catch. Morris has got it. That's ball placement. Yeah, man. Orgy, back in the game. Orgy, running and right. A nice seal by Mullins, and he gets into the end zone, and we'll take a bigger lead. Thank you very much. That puts it up to 15. And we will get it up to uh, 16 momentarily. With uh, uh, It is 16. Okay, I don't know what they're doing. Oh, man, what a weird play there. I don't know what happened. I was looking at the wrong side. I thought he had the ball. A nice like, wide receiver screen opening the gates here. Look out! He's hit! And unbelievably caught. Okay, that was just bizarre to me. This kid is not bad, though. I mean, he gets banged a little bit there. And, you know, I, I think this guy definitely had some really good play, um, passing and stuff. But my goodness, I mean, that was... That's crazy. Oh, man, yes, bring him down, bring him down. Yeah, swallow that man. Yeah, I like that one. Way to go, Grant. Way to go. Grant just shoots right through, excuse me, pushes off the guy like this, get off me, and then just moves with his hands like that and gets to the guy. Way to go, Grant. I don't know where Mason Graham was tonight, but um, I didn't see him out there. Oh, my goodness, and that field goal is good. So, some miscues definitely for Michigan State. Um, you know, definitely some whack, wackadoo things. Fumbling the ball um, late in the second, missing a field goal. That That is some definitely some wacko jumbo. This was a targeting review. And number seven here, he comes in and just hits Orgy, and that gives you, uh, I think, a 15-yard penalty. That guy is ejected, a stupid idiot. Uh, Michigan State decides to target Orgy and just kind of lower the crown of your helmet into that, and you can't do that. You can't do that as a player. you got to have discipline um, and stuff. Your kid's in college. You're very dumb as a stupid player and stuff. Come on, man. you got to have a better coach there, and, you know, that targeting call is just ridiculous. Um and everything else, and you know that and there's some holding on that side. That guy's holding. He says targeting, and that guy is ejected from the game. That's targeting. He's gone, and um, it was confirmed. So player disqualified. He's out. Number seven, you're gone. Um, Jordan 
Turner here, or whatever your name is. He had disqualified for um, targeting. Warren looking fires, and it's caught by Ronnie Bell's brother, I believe. Let's go. Flips it off to Donovan Edwards. Donovan Edwards throws it to Loveland. Touchdown, Michigan. How about that? The Don can throw the ball. Oh, you see that movie a couple of times. Gets to Ohio State. Gets in the Big Ten Championship in 2021. Gets to Ohio State last year. That man is throwing that ball. He is a quarterback type player. Dual threat, baby. Woo! Now we go for two. And looking, looking. Guess who? Colston Loveland, the guy that was spectacular all night, got two touchdowns and a two-point conversion. Make it 24-10. Man, that is just a sweat, um, stellar play there by Donnie. Donnie throws it up. Loveland catches it. Excuse me, I'll score a touchdown. Thank you very much. No one's around. All right, here we go. Michigan State has got to drive here. Oh, my goodness. A nice wide receiver screen again. Or tight end screen. One of those two. I'm, I'm seeing screen, screen play after screen play here. Oh, man. Oh, almost picked there by Hall, and he just could not hang on. He is pissed. He is livid. Hill? Hill? I'm sorry. I, if I said Hall, I apologize. Hill, whatever his name is. Oh, man. Uh, Here we go. They're going to run it on third and 10, and they pick up a first down. It was like tw second and 25, and then somehow they got it back on one of those. I think it was like a false start or a holding call or some weird-ass nonsense. Oh, man, and then you're just driving. But you know what? With the problem with this drive is that they take too much time off the clock, and, I mean, that, that crucifies you. Ah, man, hitting the brakes like in Top Gun, baby. I mean, that that's crazy, man. You know, I mean, stopping on a dime like that and doing those things, that's crazy. But touchdown nonetheless. You have to find that inside leverage or outside leverage there. And he's just not, you know, um, Hall needs to get better on that. I mean, and, you know, he, slipping on the turf is, is a thing, you know, that you get the turf monster. Uh, here's the knee, kneel down. I mean, I guess they didn't show the final drive there. And then a fight starts breaking out here, which I'm not even going to look at because I don't really give a flying F. But that's the end of the Michigan Wolverines game, and the Michigan Wolverines win 24-17. Uh, to 17. Uh, Next week, I, f I don't know who they're playing, but, you know, Michigan, uh, Michigan has some tough games coming up in November. Uh, you know, the final game of the season is going to be the toughest one of them all. Uh, can they turn it around win the next four games? Maybe. But uh, at the end of the day, we have to see if Michigan can truly turn around the game. So until next time, guys, for Stay Radical. I'll see you in the next one. Hit that like button, smash that subscribe button. That's all I got for you. I'll see you in the next one.